the United Church of Canada has committed to becoming an anti-racist church. What might this mean for all of us in terms of understanding racism in the church? Four United Church leaders share their insights. If you're part of a religious system, and in particular, if you're part of a Christian system, recognizing that our history, the history of how we came to be as um, church in the modern day was rooted in racism. You have to experience racism or a problem yourself in order to be, uh, you know, to associate yourself with it. I know some of my people have, and that's where I get in, get involved. When I think about racism, I think about kind of different kinds of racism. There's there's individual racism. There there are the the subtle underlying kinds of things. Then there's structural racism, and it could be things like uh, being considered for a, a, a role in a congregation until people realized that the individual was black. Who are uh, in the leadership right now, right? I mean, this is a pastoral charge congregation level, but also regional council and general council, um, still very much uh, white leaders. And so um, do you think that they are the only ones who are capable or is it that certain group of people were not giving a fair or equitable chances to uh, play and serve the church? Most of the time, I would say probably 99% of the time, I'm invited to speak or, or to do something is around um, my race or, or issues of culture. And in, in a way, I get that people want to be uh, open, but I also understand that what they've done is that they've, they've pigeonholed me. I'd love the day when um, somebody would invite me to speak on something other than my <laughs> skin color uh, race. And I'd love the day when there are so many of us in, in the church. If, if that had been the trend for us to mingle with, with the white way of uh, doing it, uh, we would have lost. Uh, the way what we've tried to establish to uh, to uh, conduct our our faith and services church services in our way in our language with our culture they seem to have a certain kind of notion of asian woman and 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 often that is very quiet um kind of submissive even kind of exotic um, and uh, certainly I'm none of that. Therefore, you know, you don't look like what we think Asian woman um, supposed to be, right? Or Korean woman supposed to be. Dismantling racism in our church requires us to acknowledge systemic barriers faced by many indigenous and racialized people in the church and acknowledge the ways in which the church has knowingly and unknowingly contributed to racist actions. In the year 2020, the General Council, the highest national decision-making body of the United Church, approved a motion committing the church to become an anti-racist denomination. The motion came from people in congregations. And part of what that motion was really calling us to was not just to do things at the General Council office or, or just with our policies, but to really work on this throughout all of who we are as the United Church of Canada. I've been talking to a lot of people from different, uh, my friends from different parts of the country, is how do you say United Church in your language? Because to us, to me in, uh, in Garden Hill, it's called Wapska uh, Mehogamak, which means white church in uh, southern Ontario, they say the same thing. They re refer their church as a white church. 
And wouldn't it be exciting if someday we change that, not to call it the white church? Racism has been part of our life and will continue to be part of our life unless we make a difference, unless we make change inside ourselves and inside the structure. I think there's a lot of work for all of us to do together in this. I think there are different ways that we need to be doing this work.